Skaters, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today we are gonna be working on backward edges. Now, backward edges and having really good control over your edges is fundamental to being a good figure skater. If you don't have good control of your forward edges and backward edges, then you're not gonna have control going into any other moves. So, if you haven't learned your forward edges yet, I will post a link to my tutorial up above and in the description down below, so you wanna go watch that. But if you've mastered those forward edges, then let's get started here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a line. Now I'm gonna be using these curling circles today because they have a line down the center, but they're also gonna help you see the shape that I'm making with my edges. All right, so once you've found your line, we're gonna start with our body perpendicular to our line. So we're facing uh, the long way down the ice, if that makes sense. I'm gonna start by pushing back onto my right outside edge. We're gonna do our outside edges first. So I have my foot perpendicular to the line, the uh, direction where I'm traveling, okay? My left leg is actually gonna go in front of me. I'm gonna copy that with my hands. So my upper body sort of faces the circle, the direction where I'm traveling. Um, you don't want to start square, you don't want to start away, you'll get all twisted up. So imagine that your upper body is somewhat facing the direction where you're traveling. I'm going to turn my toe in so my feet kind of shape are the shape of a seven. Okay, so I have the foot I'm standing on and then my left foot turns in almost like a seven. I'm going to bend both my knees and push backwards off of that left foot. So once again, I have my right hand out to the side, my right hand under me. I'm creating a line on my right side. My head is over my right hip and my hip is over my right foot. You don't want that hip out. We don't want any kind of funny, you know, lines happening. We want to create a really strong center over that right side. The left hand is in front and the left foot is angled in. I'm going to bend both those knees and I'm going to push off that left foot so you so it you can do a little bit of a swizzle but you want to be careful not doing like too much of a swizzle mostly you just want to push back off that left foot it's a little bit of an awkward position you're gonna you might just want to stand here and practice pushing a number of times until you get that motion you're really using your adductors a lot so we bend push back off that left foot So the beginning of the edge, the part that's going away from the line, is going to be with your left hand and left foot in front. So once you push, that foot goes in front. So you're opened up to the inside of the circle and you're gliding with that foot and hand in front. As you come to the top axis of the circle, so we have our long axis and our short axis. As you come to the top of the circle, your hand and foot come in very close. You're not gonna bring them around. You want them to come in very close towards your body. So you're gliding and they come in very close. From this close position, you're gonna reach your left hand behind, your left leg behind, and turn your head so you can see where you're going. There's a lot of different techniques. If your coach has a different technique, then follow your coach's technique. This is what I like to teach my students. It's what I feel is helpful for my students. Um, but again, if your coach is teaching you a different technique, that's fine. You always wanna follow what your coach is doing. So we have our starting position, left hand in front, right hand to the side, left leg to the front. Give a nice bend, push onto that right back outside edge. Come very close together reach out behind and turn your head so you can see where you're going. When you get back to your center axis, then we're gonna start it all on the other foot. Now, ideally you wanna smoothly move through this, but I'm gonna show you the starting position for the right, for the other foot. So, we have our left leg strong underneath us, our right hand in front, right foot pigeoned, toed slightly in. I'm gonna bend both those knees, keeping my center over my left side, give myself a push, foot in front, bring everything in, and reach behind. Push, foot in front, bring in, reach behind. Push, collect, and reach. Okay, and that is what your backward outside edges look like.
So those were your outside edges. That's gonna be really important for jump landings, spin landings, and of course all your footwork needs all your edges. So those back edges are important. We also have our backward inside edges. So this entrance is generally thought to be a bit trickier. So this is one of those ones where you're definitely gonna to wanna to take a little time and just work just on the entrance. Let's go over that. So I am again on my line. My body is perpendicular to the line. So if I was on one of those plain hockey lines, it's very clear to see that line would be going uh, horizontal here, all right? So I'm gonna be standing on my left inside edge. Um, now, none of these edges are really harsh, not the outside or inside. They're not harsh edges. They're just gentle edges. So you get that curve going. So I'm standing with that the strong line on my left side this time. Um, my right foot is going to pigeon toe in, kind of like an inverted seven, all right? Just like the other one, a seven. Now, I am gonna push back off of that right foot now, generally people think they're gonna do a swizzle, but when you do a swizzle, it sends you on your outside edge going the wrong way. So you don't wanna think of this as a swizzle. It is just a push forward off of that inside edge. It's probably the most awkward push you're ever gonna to have to learn how to do. So we're gonna go bend down so my knees are wedged together. My, most of my weight is back here on my left foot and I'm pushing back off that right foot. Okay, so that is the push. It's a little awkward. Practice it a lot on both feet, even if you don't do the full edge. Just get used to that backward edge push. Okay, so let's do the whole move all together. You're gonna have your right foot turned in, most of your weight over on that left side. I am gonna put my right hand in front, my left hand to the side. I'm gonna push back onto that left inside edge, push with my right hand and my right foot in front. As I get to the crest of the circle, again, everything is gonna come in. You don't wanna bring your leg back in a circular motion. You never wanna bring your legs through in a circular motion with edges. It always is gonna come through tight, okay? Like you're skating through a narrow little hallway, all right? If you let your arms swing around as you change your position on the edge, you're gonna lose control, you're gonna I mean, it just makes a mess. <laughs> so just bring it through really nice and tight as if you're going through a really skinny little hallway, okay? So this is basically your position as you come through the top. And then as you finish it, you're gonna open up, reach that right foot back, reach that right hand back, turn your head so you can see where you're going. And this prepares you to take your next step. Let's do it all in one nice smooth motion. Get that wedge position, weight on the right side, push off that right foot collect and reach. Okay, now this brings us to our line and we are gonna step and reverse everything to the other side. So now my weight shifts over to the right side. This left hand and, and foot are already in front because you were they were in that position as you came towards the line. You're gonna pigeon toe those feet, do that same awkward push, but this time off of your left foot. Hand and foot in front, collect everything together and reach. Awkward push, hand and foot in front, collect, reach, shift your weight over to the other side, push, collect everything together, and reach. And those are your backward inside edges. While you're doing these edges, it's really important to engage all those muscles in your core. So you're lifting up through your torso, having strong muscles in your back, and engaging the muscles in your hips. You wanna think about lifting up so that your hip, hip is kind of stacked on top of itself. This is gonna to apply to both the back outside and back inside edges. You don't ever want that hip kind of sticking out. It makes it so you're gonna kind of hook around really hard or you're gonna lose control in general. So I want you to think about taking that hip and almost stacking it up on top of itself so it's really elongated. So I will show you that on both the outside and the inside. So if if I leave my hip out, obviously that looks really bad. You wanna stretch that hip up and engage all those muscles through the torso so that you're really long on your skating side. Let me show you on the other foot. Nice and long up on the skating side. Engage those muscles, lift up and out through the hip. Now if I did this on the inside, it's the same thing where you're lifting up through that hip and engaging all your muscles in your core. Push, 
you want to lift up through the hip so it's really straight and flat and those muscles in the middle are all really well engaged. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed that one. Learn some new techniques. If you enjoyed it, then give us that thumbs up. And of course, I always look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.